Hello, uh, this is uh, Engineer Takio and welcome to Engineer Takio's tutorial. In this episode, pag-uusapan natin ang power factor correction. What is exactly power factor correction? Uh, think about this. You buy a beer and then pag buhos mo sa baso, puro bula ang lumalabas. Diba? Konti na lang may inom mo. Uh, sa power factor correction, ganun ang mangyayari. Uh, I-lessen natin yung waste stage, na, which is the bula. So that, uh, marami tayong may inom na beer. Okay, so exactly that is uh, in, uh, <clears throat> in other terms, power factor correction. Uh, let me show you sa board about the illustration. And my illustration, ganito. In real life, dapat si Watts at si BA ay magkasama. Si husband at si wife ay lagi magkasama. Kaso lang mayroong third party na si VAR. Okay? Ang VAR is kapag mayroong third party, masyadong mainit ang sitwasyon. Si VAR basically ang nagbibigay sa atin ng uh, heat, uh, dissipation sa mga, uh, dissipated heat sa mga cables and sa motors. And that is exactly why we are going to correct and make sure that our power, our, uh, power factor in our system is really higher or uh, in real terms 1. Kaya lagi dapat si, si husband and the wife ay lagi magkasama, romantic. Which is, itong uh, theta na to, or distance between the two, should be uh, in the same page, or should be lower. Okay? In real life, kailangan isang linya lang sila, ganyan. Okay? At as much as possible, kung hindi kaya, kailangan maliit. That is why we are going to uh, tanggalin natin sa third party sa buhay natin. Tama? Okay. So, ganoon din sa mga factor correction. We have to lower this third party here so that VA and Watts should be on the same page should be uh, together okay now kung na-remember nyo meron tayong uh, sa college is a power uh, sa right triangle soka towa okay so ito ang gagamitin natin para which is ito yung ratio ni uh, uh, this one the third party and the the Watts Okay, so tangent is opposite over adjacent. This is the opposite and this is the adjacent. Uh, which is uh, opposite uh, tangent of theta is equal to the opposite. This is the Q over the power the P. Okay, so i, ma, i ano lang natin. Uh, basically, our VA and corrected this one here. Uh, is uh, times uh, is equal to watts times the tangent theta, or basically the the bigger the triangle minus the lesser the triangle. Ito yung makukuha natin, which is ito yung uh, amount of the capacitor or the capacitance na kailangan natin para malower yung bar. Okay, so. Now, uh, this one here, the, co the corrected, is, is equal to the watts times the tangent theta 2. Okay, so the bigger triangle minus the smaller triangle is equal to our QC. Okay, our QC then is equal to watts times uh, the, the difference between the tangent theta 1 and minus tangent theta 2. Now, after getting this bar here, makukuha na natin yung kapasitor. Uh, ang formula ng kapasitor is uh, QC uh, divided by uh, 2 times pi times the frequency times the voltage squared. Okay? So, ganito lang. Itong formula na to, pag makuha natin to, uh, get the capacitance. Alright? So, pag illustrate natin sa isang sample, example, a single phase 400 volts motor B 50 hertz frequency takes a supply current of 50 amps this is our I at power factor of 0.6 now the motor power factor has to be improved to 0.9 kailangan natin increase uh, if you notice sa uh, mga bill ng mga 3 phase power supply like uh, our facilities kapag ang power factor mo is 0.6 malaki ang penalty ng utility Okay, so, kailangan, uh, ideally, should be 1, but should be close to 1. Para less ang, ang amount na i-penalize nila. Or, basically, uh, sometimes walang penalty. 
Okay? So, we are going to calculate the capacitor para ma-lower yung or ma-increase ma yung power factor which is the lower yung var natin. Alright? So, our solution is like this. Power factor, let's compute muna sa ating power. Itong watts natin. Here. So, we have, this is single phase. So, voltage times current times power factor. Which is, this is around 400 times the 50 times the power factor of 0.6. So, this is 12,000. 12 kilowatt. Now, given tayo ng power factor, ang our power factor is cosine theta is PF. So, makukuha natin yung theta dito is inverse cosine of PF. Okay? Right. So, now, nakuha natin yung watts, kunin natin si te tangent theta 1. Okay? Pagkuha natin ng theta is yun. Alright? So, tangent theta 1 is uh, which is equal to uh, the tangent of ito cosine of the power factor ito 0 0.6 0 0.6 okay so kung titignan natin ito cosine theta 1 ay eh, cosine 0 0.6 inverse is uh, inverse cosine of 0.6 is 53.13 then kunin natin yung tangent is 1.33 so this is uh, 1.33 alright tangent theta 2 tangent of cosine inverse ito yung target na power factor natin. So, this is 0.9. Okay, so, uh, inverse cosine of 0.9. Kunin natin yung tangent. This is 0 0.48. Okay? So, meron na tayong watts. Meron tayong tangent 1, theta 1, tangent theta 2. So, kunin lang natin yung QC. QC is 12,000 times 1 point, that's the difference, minus 0.48. Alright, okay, so this is 12,000 times 1.33 minus 0.48. So this is around 10,200, ano unit, this is? Bar. Okay? Para makuha natin yung K-bar, i-divide lang natin ng 1,000, which is 10.2 K-bar. Okay? Bakit K-bar? Magagamit natin dito. Now, kung makuha na natin ito, QC, makuha na natin yung capacitor. Capacitor value. So, C is uh, 10,200 divided by 2 times pi Pi is 3.14. Ang frequency is 50 times voltage squared. 400 volts. So this is uh, divided by 2 times 3.14. The pi times the frequency, the 50 times 400 squared equal to 0 0.002 uh, gagawin natin ang unit kasi ng C is microfarad so times natin ng uh, micro is 10 to the negative 6 alright so that is times times 1 million this is 203 microfarad ok so, ang unit niya is microfarad. Kung, kung ito, gagamitin mo lang 10,000 na hindi mo i-convert to K-bar, pwede ito i-multiply to 1 million. Okay? Para makuha mo yung microfarad. Okay? Now, kung ito ay given ay single phase, gawin natin itong three phase, ang nangyayari, ang power mo is, multiply mo lang ng 1.7 times V times I times 
the power factor. And the same formula or the same process. Okay? So, uh, in recap natin, the power factor corrections really is to the, the, the husband is always in love with his wife. Okay? Kaya lagi sila magkasama, magkatikit. Kailangan tanggalin si third party. This one. And to, to calculate the amount of uh, the amount para mawala si third party is this QC given by this formula. Watts min times tangent theta 1 minus tangent theta 2. And then to get the uh, capacitor value is this formula. QC over 2 pi F V squared. Alright, so I hope may natutunan kayo sa tutorial na ito ni Engineer Takio. Thank you very much for watching. You can subscribe to my Engineer Takio YouTube channel or subscribe or follow sa uh, dito sa Facebook. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye-bye.